Today I'm going to cover how to pleat fabric for a dress front whereby the smocking goes right into the armhole. This time you'll see that I'm rolling the fabric onto the dowling but I've got the dowling poking out at one side and then the fabric extending over the other side. And what I'm aiming to do is I'm just going to pleat up this top edge of the fabric and because this will be where the yoke joins the dress. You'll also notice that I haven't cut out the armholes. These you do after the smocking is done. Now that you can see I've pleated, I've threaded up 12 needles. So that's for 10 rows of smocking and two holding rows, one at the top and one at the bottom. I've put my dowling into my pleater at the back and I fed my fabric in so that it lines up with one needle past the last one that I threaded. So I've threaded that needle and I'm lining it up with this one and I'm following the groove through and I'm going to line it up with this groove here. The reason for doing that is that gives me one centimetre seam allowance above my smocking. So now I'm going to show you that we're keeping the top edge, which is our top of our seam allowance, in line with this groove, which is one centimetre away from my first pleating thread. So I'm turning the handle and I'm just watching this edge, so I'm not doing anything with it, I'm just watching that edge as I turn. But while I'm watching that edge with my left hand, I'm holding the fabric here. I'm not pulling it, I'm just easing it down and out. So outwards and down, but not tugging on it. But all I'm doing is making sure that it doesn't catch in this groove here. Because the needles stop here, it sometimes buckles under there. So if you just keep the tension slightly out and then towards you, and just so don't need to watch that side, just do it with your left hand and then watch the groove here. This is the important bit that it goes through the pleater straight and if it starts to go off line then you can use your left hand just to ease it back into place. And then as before we take the pleats off the needles every few turns and then pull them straight. And then you carry on just pulling the fabric, just easing it with your left hand while keeping it going through this groove in a straight line, in a straight line. And again, just easing it through and take your pleats off your needles. Okay, and then slide your pleats down. And then just continue like that to the end, just easing the fabric with your left hand at all times, making sure that it goes through the groove straight. Because you want that top, your first pleater uh, thread to be going through what, in a dead straight line. That's it. That's it. Every few turns, ease your pleats off. And with the feeder box, you've got endless supply of thread. And you just screw it down. Once again, just holding the fabric in the left hand to ease it down and towards you. And then you'll see that you finish off in a straight line with your fabric. And just keep. So keep turning your handle. Ease the threads off. Ease your fabric down till the threads come clean out of the needles. Slide this out of the way. And then you can pull your threads. Put them, put them there. Oops. Put them there. And then once again, you spread your fabric out in line with the blocking guide. To, uh, unpick for one centimetre, which is my seam allowance on both sides and then tie off in pairs. So once you've finished your smocking, it's then that you would take your pleater, pleater threads out, you would pin it to an ironing board, and then put your blocking guide on the top, and you would mark out your armholes. First steam your fabric to set the pleats, and then once it's dry, then mark out your armholes with a waterproof pen and then using your sewing machine zigzag round that mark, the blue mark, and then trim away your excess. 
and then you make up your dress as normal.